it is trade season, and Derek Broussard is moving on along with Riley Sheehan. A second and two fourth round picks in the 2019 draft going over to the Panthers for Nick Bugstad and Jared McCann. First off, Stu, who won the trade? Well, you know, I think if you look at it this way, who got better as a result of this trade? There's no question. The Penguins got a nice upgrade. If you think in terms of you pull Broussard out of the number three center spot, you plug in Nick Bukestad, that's a guy to me, Reader, that's going to get you 15 conservatively from that spot, may get you 20 or better. Uh, he's younger than Broussard, and I think you get a nice upgrade where the Pittsburgh Penguins are concerned. But really, at the end of the day, I think both clubs, because they're in different situations, kind of got what they need as the Florida Panthers kind of jettison um, uh, Bukestad out of, and McCann out of the mix they free up six and a half or maybe more in cap space 6.5 million or better in cap space and a lot of the pundits a lot of the insiders out there are saying that's in an effort to free up the space come this summer to go after the likes of Bobrovsky because the net is an area where this club needs to address and Panarin as well. They could use a little bounce up front. It's amazing how teams are making deals not necessarily for themselves right now or for, or for the summer but you might also see Broussard move before that if somebody else wants him around the league yeah. in a couple of weeks because he is a very talented and he seems to step his game up in the playoffs but he's a very talented center can play number two or three role very interesting I like what the Pittsburgh Penguins got in this and uh, it's tough to say winning or losing trades that'll play itself out but I think right now the team that got better immediately and filled the void that they were looking for was the Pittsburgh Penguins Nick Butestad can be a big center I think playing the ups up style pace and the the offensive style that the Pittsburgh Penguins play suits his game a little better and Jared McCann has got wheels on top of wheels he hasn't shown that offensive flair uh, he started in Vancouver came over from Vancouver in a trade to Florida we'll see if he can get some offense flowing maybe playing uh, on wing the odd time with a Crosby maybe centering Kessel or maybe playing a little Malkin on the power play but both of these players I think are suited better for the Penguins style of play time will tell on that I could be wrong on that but my gut feeling is that uh, the speed and the, the skill level of these players fits into what's going on with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Shane was a good fit, but he's a fourth line center. His offense is limited. He's a great skater. He's a smart player, plays the game extremely well. But the Penguins are looking for, I'd say, more offense from all positions there. And, someone, yeah. and to play that, that when they were winning and they were winning cups, their game was extremely fast. I think they got faster in this deal. And it sounds like we're on the money with the Panthers' long-term projection here and what they're thinking of Chris Johnson, our own Chris Johnson, with this tweet on what they're going after, as Jim Dale Talon said, we freed up a lot of space for an aggressive summer in free agency. Not going to throw out names right now. Season is still going on, but he's trying to make fans excited down in South Florida, and why not? <laughs>